All right, so what's really important to understand about the Q movement, it is not just local to the United States, it is all over the globe because what it deals with is corruption at the highest levels of government, power, whether they be, you know, the executive branch, the legislative or the judicial, okay? And as well as in the banking cartels. So all over the globe, countries are occupied by central banking institutions that loan the government money at interest. And this enables them to own all the other socioeconomic and geopolitical gears in the country, okay? And then what they do is they use their billions or trillions of dollars to create a bunch of deep underground bases where they have all this like to highly top secret technology going on, okay? And they are like figuring out how to do things like create infinite energy or do things like anti-gravity technology or inertia propulsion. They're learning how to do things like uh, cloning and all sorts of crazy stuff, okay? This is like a global takeover. They're trying to create a new world order, right? They're trying to create a one world government. That means there's like over 180 countries involved in all this stuff where they're monopolizing all the resources, all the labor in the country through the central banking system, okay? And that enslaves the whole country through debt to whoever owns a central bank, all right? Now, as they're researching all this stuff, as they're, you know, all this R&D, they're covering it up through top secret security clearances and through blackmail in the government, in the media, in entertainment and stuff like that so that the truth about these technologies never gets out and they use these people like a smoke screen for all this other stuff that's behind the scenes. And this is going on all over the world, okay? The Swiss Alps are made like Swiss cheese with these freaking underground bases, okay? The United States has over, like seriously, like 150, 200 of these things. And that's small compared to some countries, okay? Some countries are so deeply infiltrated, you can't move but 100 miles in any direction and you got a deep underground base. Well, according to the people in the Q community, all you have to do is look at the Q map. All you have to do is look at the uh, time code or the gap code and the numbers between President Trump's tweets and Q drops, what are known as Q drops. And there have been several thousand of them. All right. Now, when it comes to President Trump, what you have to understand is that he's like the good cop that's coming out and doing what it is that a lot of people don't want him to do in this cabal, in this global organization. OK. And they thought that he was a part of their group. OK, because he was at, you know, their parties and he, he, he's in pictures with Jeffrey Epstein and shit like that. But he also kicked Jeffrey Epstein out of uh, the, the hotel when he found out he was hitting on 15 year old girls and stuff. So from very early on, he kind of made it clear he wasn't a part of that. But he also was at these really high levels of economic power, which kind of pushed him in the door to know what's actually going on at these higher levels. OK, so as he became president, he now has all this back knowledge about all this stuff behind the scenes that normally presidents don't know. And if they do know, they're usually a part of it. All right. So President Trump is kind of like a whistleblower. OK, but he's not actually like coming out and saying they're trafficking. Hey, I'm on camera, bro. Yeah, the, the thing is, is he's not actually coming right out and saying it's a bunch of satanic pedophiles trafficking these children, that it's all blackmail and blah, 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 blah. However, what he is saying is things like human trafficking is down some odd percent. We've rescued this many children from human trafficking or child trafficking rings. You got all these operations going on all over the country, et cetera, et cetera. OK, so it's all these things. It's like a trail of breadcrumbs being laid. And if you look at all the sealed indictments mixed with all the CEO resignations and all the people going to court like Harvey Weinstein, John of God, the Nixon cult. OK, all the Podesta emails getting leaked. Now Hillary Clinton's emails are coming out. All right. If we look at the pattern here, if we see the trend, and you learn to read between the lines, then they're showing you there's a whole lot going on on the other side of those blinds. You know what I'm saying? They're showing you like, it's almost like, you know, you look through blinds and if you go like this a little bit, you can kind of see more of the picture. You know what I'm saying? As if you're just standing there. So if we learn to kind of see, read in between the lines, we can see how what is happening in America is historic because once we show that we are able to do this, you are able to take control of the highest level of uh, government power in your country and clean house from top to bottom, then every other country all over the globe is going to do it because nobody wants to be a part of this human trafficking stuff. Nobody wants to be a part of these pedophile rings. And there are good aspects and bad aspects to what is known as the deep state. 
all right? And that's where this whole Q thing comes in because the Q people are the people at the highest levels of military and intelligence power that are the good guys, they're the patriots, and they're like, this has got to end, this has to stop. And so if you understand that what we're talking about is the use of all of these deep underground military bases all over the globe in the same tightly knit, highly efficient machine, to quote JFK Jr., that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, scientific, economic, and political operations, then we can begin to see how what was going on in America is the gear is turning the other way, okay? And this is almost like seizing up the rest of the machine, okay? Would you say the upcoming presidential elections here are crucial for the Q movement in the entire world? I would say it's crucial for everyone, the entire world, people in Q, even the people that are against Donald Trump, it's crucial for them too, because whether or not they know it, they've been propagandized and compartmentalized by the intelligence community that is the cabal. And they have used things like censorship, they've used things like hate speech to limit freedom of speech. These individuals claim to be tolerant, they claim to be all inclusive, but the moment you start speaking something they don't like, they censor you. Okay, and it's not just that way here in the United States, it's all over the world. However, in the United States, the freedom movement is larger. And so it's developing momentum on a global scale as everybody that is in the queue all over the globe sees the momentum that we have, sees that we're not giving up, sees that we're giving the globalists the finger and says, no, 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 no. You're not going to destroy our communities. You're not going to traffic our children. You're going to end this human trafficking BS. We're going to disclose the truth about these technologies so we can stop using this debt-based petrodollar system, so we can stop destroying our ecosystems you know, with pollution, with uh, ELF frequencies and these towers and stuff that are sending all these frequencies we can't see but give us cancer and stuff, 5G, it's no joke, dude. What would be your message for Q supporters in Austria? Who do you want to let them know? All Q supporters, you are not alone. The highest levels of the military and the intelligence community are with you, they are helping, and they wouldn't have come out and told everybody everything that's going on if they didn't already have it handled. I know that about the military well enough. They're not going to come out and open their mouths about an operation if it isn't already assured, okay? They're not going to leak above top secret information unless they know it is a part of their strategy to win the globe. So keep fighting, don't stop talking, get out there, protest, these save the children or save our children rallies, these Child Lives Matter rallies, keep them up, okay? Because the longer we keep this up, the more the word gets out and the more our children will be saved from these globalists, okay? They are, they're, all their stuff is hidden in plain sight. Check this out. At Arrowhead Mall here in, in Arizona, this symbol is their chosen symbol at Arrowhead Mall, okay? What the fuck, Arrowhead? Why are you using pedophile code in your symbolism? Okay, and it's because, I think, because this symbol says that Arrowhead Mall is a safe haven for certain people with certain tastes, in particular, boy love. Okay, that's what this symbol means, according to the FBI. That's not just me talking out my rear end here, okay? So, this symbol being the symbol that uh, Arrowhead Mall is using by their bathrooms should be a concern to everybody. And if we begin to look for this type of symbolism, or if we begin to look for things like um, certain code words like pasta or pizza, and if the pizza sign has like devil horns or something like that, that's something to watch out for, okay? If So in order to beat this evil occultic force, you need a light occultic force. You need a, an occultic force that is of the side of God, of love, like almost like the, on the side of the angels, okay? As opposed to the demons, all right? And so as a shaman, I am like a multi-dimensional or hyper-dimensional being, okay? I am able to perceive multiple different frequencies of light beyond my five senses. And it allows me to see into these other higher dimensions that these entities, these pedophiles, these rapists, these murderers, these really high up people, that they almost like hide in the shadows in. Nobody can see that because the third eye ain't open. Okay? And that's where things like fluoride and stuff like that comes in. So the horns, the horns are, hey man, you mess with the buffalo, you get the horns, bro. And if you ever tried messing with the buffalo, that doesn't work out too well for many people. This right here, this is coyote skin. According to the Navajo, the coyote is like the trickster. Almost like, almost like a malevolent force. So I'm wearing the, the, the skin of the trickster. I got two tails here, okay? So the trickster messed with the bull, got the horns, okay? And the face paint is representative of the Native American tradition of like donning on war paint of some sort. Only this is, go ahead. 
Oh, no, it's like only this is a war that is of like a spiritual nature, okay? So because it's a war of a spiritual nature, you need symbolism. Okay, and the symbolism here for me is you got the blood on the sign, the bullet holes Q sent me. This shows the the, the secret war in the, behind the scene. Yeah. Oh, hey, if you don't know who Q is, Q is the highest levels of the military and the intelligence community, disseminating bomb top secret information to patriots in the Republic so we can take back our country from globalists and communists and Satanists.